Right, I'm gonna come out and just say it. Cast me in Tron 3. We finally, after 10 years, can get another sequel to Tron Legacy, the greatest movie of all time, and I need to be in it. If I'm not in it, shit's gonna go down. I don't know what to tell you. With me being such a big Tron head, really it's needless to say, I would savor the chance to be in a Tron 3. I would suck on it. I would sit in the steaming hot crock pot and marinate myself if it meant I could be in Tron 3. But I understand just wanting the chance to be in the movie is not enough for you. So I'm gonna give you a couple reasons why I should be in Tron 3. All right, number one, I technically have three copies of Tron Legacy. I have a DVD at home and then I have a DVD with me at school that also has a Blu-ray with it. You know, so I could basically tell you the whole story. I've seen the movie. I can I can lend you a copy if you haven't seen it. I know not a lot of people have seen Tron Legacy. It took 10 years to get the fucking sequel, but you know, I know it. Whatever you need, I got three copies. I know what's up. Another reason you should cast me is your boy likes to dabble in some Legos. I mean, last Christmas I bought myself the Tron Legacy light cycle set. And just gotta say, I love it. I had a great time. I probably made it in like 20 minutes tops. Not, no, you know, no big deal. Just a big, just a big, uh, just a big architecture guy, you know? I can, I can draw a light cycle for you. I can, I can build one. I can ride one if you let me ride one. I will give you my firstborn child. Yeah, and you know, there's other stuff I can make too. Like I know how to make uh, uh, I got a frisbee here. We can make it a light disc, you know, all that kind of stuff. Really, whatever you need, I, I, it doesn't even have to be props. I can be the prop guy, but I can be a whole bunch of other stuff. You hungry? I can make a mean quesadilla. Tired? I got the coffee. Thirsty? I know where the water fountain's at. Be cool set, maybe an arcade like Flynn's Arcade in the first one. I got a PS4. We can play games on that shit. You fire an intern? Man, I do be DMing on that Twitter. You stress? Your boy can give you a free back massage like it's nobody's business, all right? I am what they call the jack of all trades. You cast me, you get all this for free. I also look like Garrett Hedlund from Tron Legacy. So assuming, you know, he wants to get like, he wants to get Taco Bell or something in the middle of a shoot or whatever, and you need like, you know, like the back of my, my head or whatever, back of his head. You know, I can be a stand-in, you know, I can look like him. I mean, just look at this picture next to me. We're practically twins. Last big reason, your boy loves some spandex. If I am casted, I will wear that suit with the neon lights. Like, I'm, I'm the guy who wears the neon lights to the gym, you know? I'm the guy who goes to the groceries and that stuff. I will wear it like I'm the guy who, who you know, is wearing the $4,000 suit, you know? Who's running into the guy wearing the $2,000 suit. Hey, yeah, the guy in the, the $4,000 suit is holding the elevator, but the guy doesn't make that in three months. Come on! I will go see it. my grandmother in the suit. I will go to the DMV in the suit. I will go to my Thanksgiving dinner and call the, my whole family fascist in the suit. That's just how much it will mean to me be, to be able to wear the suit. I will do whatever you want. I will be in the suit and I will live my life in the suit. And that's how it's gonna go if you let me wear the suit. Now, we got a quick speed round here. And these are the last couple reasons, but they didn't, they weren't big enough reasons, you know? So we're doing a speed round of why I should be in the movie. And here they go. Uh, lymph notes, hair gel, wax monkeys, and puff Cheetos. Yeah, I can't really uh, be more clear than that. And finally, the last reason that you should cast me in Tron 3 is, now everybody, you know, start the drums. All right, ready? Start the drums. All right, suspense is building, suspense is building. I'm not a cult leader, 